and welcome to the 31 days of Halloween. I am Exolite and this is my channel. Thank you for coming and please come back every day in October because it is the 31 days of Halloween and there will be content every single day. I will also be giving away an Amazon gift card but to qualify you're gonna have to leave a comment below a video. Also please give the videos a thumbs up, share if you would like. If you are not already subscribed, please do so. And if you'd like to be notified when my content does go live, go ahead and click that bell. And what are we waiting for? Let's get creepy. We're going to discuss the strange death of a British diplomat. His name is Richard Morris. And Richard disappeared while on a run in Alice Holt Morris. Now, Richard Morris was 52 years old, and he was also the UK's former ambassador to Nepal. He was last seen running on Islington Road in Alton, near his home in Bentley, on the morning of May 6, 2020, at around 10.50 a.m. He was always a runner, cheerfully describing himself as more of an enthusiastic weekend trail runner than a podium finisher. Nevertheless, he had completed five marathons on four continents, and most recently that had been in Nepal. That was the last day that he was ever seen alive. During his run, he mysteriously vanished, and his body was found dead in a local forest four months later. An initial one-month search failed to turn up any clues. Specialist officers had searched more than six square miles of forest in their efforts to find him, with the assistance of the British Transport Police and Hampshire Search and Rescue Services. But several months after Richard vanished, his body was found by a member of the public at Alice Holt Forest, around two and a half miles from his home on August 31st, 2020. Previous searches of this area had failed to turn up any clues, and the official operation had been called off on June 3rd. So, as we've seen before, and it is very common, this area had been searched, and his body was not there at the time. So, especially for those of us in the United States, Alice Holt Forest is a royal forest in Hampshire. It is situated about four miles south of Farnham, Surrey. Once predominantly an ancient oak forest, it was particularly noted in the 18th century and 19th centuries for the timber it supplied for the building of ships for the Royal Navy. It has since been planted mainly with conifers. The Forestry Commission took over the management of the forest in 1924, and a research station was set up in 1946 in the Alice Holt Lodge, which was the former manor house. The forest is now part of the South Downs National Park, which was established on March 31, 2010, and it forms the mostly northern gateway to the park. On a post-mortem examination, there failed to be any discovery of what had happened to Richard. Christopher Wilkinson, the senior coroner for Hampshire, told the inquest on September 23rd that a medical cause of death could just not be ascertained. The inquest was adjourned until June 2021 for further evidence to be gathered and I'm assuming possibly it was hampered by the COVID. Police said that they were not treating the death as suspicious, which in itself is a little suspicious if you consider what this man's occupation is. At the time of his disappearance, Morris was classed as high risk by Hampshire police which had a team of around 50 specially trained search and rescue officers with tracker dogs and drones searching for him. He had a long career in the government. 
and it began in the Foreign Office, which started in 1990, and then saw him posted to Barbados, Canada, New York, Sydney, and Mexico City. Most recently, he had a five-year posting as the ambassador to Nepal from 2015. In 2016, he hosted Prince Harry during his official tour of the Himalayan nation. He had been due to take up a role as Britain's High Commissioner to Fiji in July. Yet, they don't think that it's possible that there could be something fishy going on. Richard was also a prominent supporter for the charity called Changing Faces, which challenges and breaks down the stigma for people with visible physical differences, because Richard had a very visible facial birthmark. So what happened to Richard Morris on the run that day in May of 2020? Was it a suicide? Well, if so... Wouldn't his body have been found immediately? And why would he be in a marathon and decide to commit suicide then? There was no evidence of anything for anybody to believe that he was even suicidal. Could he have been attacked by someone connected to his diplomatic career? That seems possible to me, but the police say there's no foul play involved. The autopsy failed to answer the very basic question of how he died. So the investigation continues. It seems strange, as does it often in these cases, that Richard was not found after the initial search. According to the Forestry Commission, Alice Holt Forest Park covers 2,100 acres of mainly Corsican pine and approximately 350 acres of oak. The area is not huge, and it is well used by walkers, runners, horse riders, and cyclists. His remains must have been well hidden in an area of the forest that was way off trail. And why would it be? He was running. If he had succumbed to a heart attack or some other medical emergency, it would seem very likely that he would have been found on the trail or on a path and someone would have quickly found him. So, since this is recent, perhaps somebody out there saw something and they just didn't know it. But now that you're hearing the story, Maybe it'll bring back a memory, some clue to help his family find some kind of closure, find how Richard died. Thank you for coming. Please keep coming back. Please go ahead and like this video and share it if you want. Good night.